Hey guys, Mangrel here, and today we received the first piece of our new 3 inch sub 250 gram drone build. This piece just came in yesterday, so it is a brand new off the shelf retail packaging. So let's take a look and see what we get here. And it's the Nebula Pro Vista kit, and it comes uh, with a 12 centimeter cable and in black color. So it's available in both black and silver. So we'll do a quick unboxing. We won't be able to do any uh, video quality comparisons or anything like that until we get our drone up and running. And if you're wondering why we picked up this camera, considering that we already have the Cadex Vista anyway, it's primarily around uh, the camera size. So we'll talk about that in a second. All right, so let's open this up. And the packaging looks almost identical to the packaging of the Cadex Vista. So again, manual. We have exact same antenna. So this is the, um, I think it's the, Rush Cherry antenna. Yeah, this is exactly the same antenna that you would be getting with the regular Cadex Vista that comes with this mount. So this antenna will replace the Cherry antenna. Huge difference in size and weight. Yep, then we have the Vista itself. No difference, exactly the same as the regular Vista. So, so far, the same thing. I think <laughs> it is hilarious. So check this out. I think the packaging is exactly the same because look at the camera size. So this cutout here, I think is for the stock camera. So this thing just kind of, you know, flops around in there. All right, so I guess I was right. Okay, let's get the camera out. So there's the Nebula Pro in black. And the good thing with the Nebula Pro, it looks like it uses the same exact lens as the regular DJI camera. So if I have extra ones, which, which I do, I can just flip those onto here. Yeah, this camera is tiny. And it comes with the longer cable. Because if you get the regular Vista kit, you can get that in uh, eight centimeter and in 12 centimeter, this comes with a 12 centimeter, which I guess is strange. Because you've got smaller camera, longer cable, but Okay, that's fine. We've got uh, some screws. I don't think these screws actually came with the Canex uh, Vista kit, and I think these are for the camera. So the Canex Vista, the regular version, has these pre-installed on the DJI camera. Okay, good. And then we've got our cable. Yeah, this is ex exact same stuff as the regular Vista. And you can see they still use the two yellow cables, which you cannot tell what's going on once you install this. And that was the feedback from the Cadex Vista review we did. So I'll give you a link in the description above. But yeah, this is exactly the same. I think really this is the same exact kit, just different camera. So now the main reason I purchased this is because the new three inch frame takes a standard micro camera, which is 19, millimeters so that's a good thing with this Cadex uh, Nebula Pro it's a regular 19 millimeter size so 18.99 whereas the DJI camera I think it's about 21 let's see how my memory okay memory's not too good it's about 20 so that one millimeter difference may have caused this issues so that's one of the main reasons I got the Nebula Pro Along with, I think it's good to have an extra Vista lying around just in case. The connector looks the same as the regular Vista connector. Let's pop it out. Okay, so there's our camera. So the Nebula without the backing. So the back plate is definitely gonna be lighter on the Nebula because the back plate on the Nebula is plastic. But that's four grams, that's eight grams. So I think we'll say that the camera is about 
less than half because I don't have a way of measuring the back plate. This was aluminum, that was plastic. So okay, we'll say you'll probably save five or six grams between these two cameras, which I mean, really is, is, is not that much. So I think this is really made for folks who already have a analog quad and want to change that analog quad over to DJI. So this way you don't have to have a specially designed camera, you just pick this one up. And pretty sure this will work with the regular DJI Air unit as well. Here's my conclusion. If you don't have a Vista, get the Vista Nebula Pro. If you already have a Vista and you need to have the smaller camera, you want to save five or six grams, just get the Nebula Pro camera. And stay tuned, we'll be doing follow-up videos once we get the quad up and running so we can see how the video quality and everything compares, but our expectation is to get the same kind of video quality out of these two. All right, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more videos on our three inch sub 250 build.